I'm Saiful. Uh, I'm Saiful Bhatia Osman. I'm the head of IT uh, for Asia Pacific for Ascend Fund Services. So basically, I'm handling the IT and the technology for the all the Asia Pacs offices. So we are the fund management, fund administration company, which is based in Singapore. Uh, we have a uh, few offices across Asia Pacific. We have uh, in, uh, in Australia, Japan, Malaysia, uh, India, Mauritius, as well as in uh, Taiwan. So basically, uh, we provide services to fund managers and we also have our own uh, fund that we manage. So we strive to deliver the best uh, for our uh, premium customers and also our stakeholders. Okay, basically, as any, any users in any company, what they want is a continue, continued business, no disruption, so that uh, everyone can do their best and also deliver the business without any disruption. That is uh, the main key. It is uh, also my focus for this company. So we need to strive very hard to make sure that we have a, a reliable, accessible and high availability in terms of access and also as well as uh, the secure environment uh, for uh, a safe working or for our client to do business. Okay, uh, to tell, uh, we are happy to, to report that uh, we are currently 100% 100% on club. That is what uh, benefits us because uh, here in this uh, in this uh, post-pandemic times, the, it's, it's very important for the business to be the one to have the uh, the fastest to get and a client to be to get on board. So as per uh, oversight from my management, they have over this uh, oversee all these situations. So we go 100% on club. So that uh, with this uh, cloud production, we are uh, available in every country. We can set up the offices very fast and also to serve all the customers in any country's uh, offices across Asia Pack. So we also uh, move away from the traditional IT infrastructure we in terms of the firewalls, the data center. So it's easy to set up for our offices even now. Uh, for if we choose any country that we want to do business, while we are hiring the staff to be in the in the uh, office, the country manager can only go up and do the marketing, introduction of the company, and get sales. So it's very fast. All of this thanks to the being 100% on cloud. In order to serve serve our customer and also to serve our uh, business users, the most challenging for any IT is that. Uh, the first of all is in terms of go governance and also reg uh, local regulations. So, so for this, uh, it is different regulation and also the uh, local governance in every country. So it's important for us to uh, be in a very uh, stable environment, to be uh, in compliance in every country so that we can set up the business and we can, we can move forward, move forward with the uh, set up of the office. So, like uh, different different country, even in Malaysia, in Malaysia previously uh, we have a very strict, strict in terms of the uh, governance in terms of cloud adoption. But now we can see the regulator is now open, open uh, for the any companies to open or to engage in cloud. So we need to also to apply in terms of the safety, in terms of uh, make, making sure all the security and also the. GDPR, everything is met. So we need to find uh, a mutual agreement between meeting compliance and also uh, for uh, business. Personally, I will see that uh, IoT, IoT and also analytics will become a very, very uh, promising for the future. As for the IoT, it can be applied. Uh, it can be applied everywhere. Like previously, I was from uh, aviation. Aviation. So you can see how IoT benefits the uh, airlines in terms of the uh, collecting all the data. So make sure, making sure that all maintenance is on spot, to making sure that all uh, the planes that all the travel is safe. Then any any of the uh, any faults in the engine or any parts of the airplane uh, will be transferred, analyzed, 
and also it will be alerted to the ground staff. So easier for them for the, if they land in the next airport, the ground crew will be available for them to fix and also to attend before all these errors become serious. And in terms of analytics, since we are in the fire management company, so it's important for us to have these analytics to make sure that uh, we have the, the we already have a, a, a pool of uh, outstanding analysts. So this analytics tool will make sure that we have uh, uh, provide a better forecast, a better decision for our customers and also premium partners.